I'm doing a little mod today on the 2015 Ford Escape. I'm taking these hubcaps off. And these are hubcaps. They look like chrome wheels, but they're not. And the wife, about three weeks ago, she did a little curb check on the uh, other side of the car, the passenger side, and she hit a curb and um, destroyed these wheel caps. You can see the real wheel under them. But what I discovered, I already pulled this one off. There is actually real alloy wheels hiding under that hubcap and they look great. I think they look better than the chrome hubcaps that were on there. I'm really not sure why Ford decided to put those chrome hubcaps on there to hide that nice alloy wheel. Maybe they think it's an upgrade. It's not to me. The hubcaps were destroyed when she hit that curb. You can see there. Both of those are toast. If you do this and you pull these chrome caps off, you'll want to grab the center cap. It'll just pop out and it goes back into your wheel here. And let's see, I've got the back wheel here off and uh, the wheels are obviously very dirty under there. So I've got that one soaking in wheel cleaner. I'll get that one cleaned up and then back on the car, get the center cap back on it. And then we will raise this side of the car and, and get those chrome hubcaps off this side. And then when I'm done, I'll, I'll give you a before and after, or give you a walk around of the car when when I get it all done. I want to share one more thing with you. Um, these tin coated lug nuts. I don't know if these things are, these are obviously factory. And um, I had the tires rotated about a thousand miles ago and it was tough getting these off. You can see they're just chewed up. I had to get an oversized socket on there uh, to get them off. So I went and bought some real lug nuts. So it's not this tin coated stuff. And what I found was these white knight, they're all chrome. And uh, I think this was like 30 bucks at AutoZone, but it comes with uh, four locking lug nuts so these four in the center are locking nuts um i didn't want the locking nuts i don't think anybody's gonna steal my wheel but then i bought four more regular ones to replace the locking ones so i got a full set and i don't have to use the locking but it was cheaper to buy them this way than to buy buy them you know, individually and certainly <laughs> the factory lug nuts they're five fifty a piece, like five forty nine a piece. These tin coated things, and um, and so it's cheaper to buy them. Some people say these are better. Um, they've got they keep the lug nut from getting corroded. Um, that may be the case, but they're tough to work with, especially if someone over tightens them and deforms them like this one. So we won't worry about them anymore. But I do recommend you to replace your lug nuts if you're going to do this. It'll probably save you some headache in the future if you are a do-it-yourself guy. So the last one that I'm doing. And you can see that chrome hubcap. And I can't do this with one hand, but basically you just take a soft mallet type hammer and just hammer it from the back. I'll show you. Let me grab my hammer. And you just actually, whoops, the center cap first. Um, that center cap has to come off first. If you don't, you will damage it. I know from experience. All right, so I got the center cap out. I just used a screwdriver and, and uh, came in from behind it there. 
just pop these tabs loose and it came out. So now we're gonna tap the hubcap off. is the alloy aluminum wheel and the chrome plastic hubcap. So I need to get this wheel cleaned up and back on my car with the new lug nuts and we'll be ready to go. All right, it's all done now. And we will see how the wife likes it. She doesn't know I'm doing this. She might not even notice. Or she might notice, and I might be getting, ordering some new chrome hubcaps for it. But I think it looks a lot better. And the car would look a lot better if it was clean. There you have it, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video.